Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and today I will be showing you guys three easy ways to kill the wither. So for the first two you're gonna need a massive ton, let me just not die here, a tunnel at bedrock. Um, how, so really you just want to use your tunnel that you use for strip mining. If you don't use one for strip mining and you're just making one specifically for the wither fight, then I would say you want it about um, for the first method, about maybe 100 to 150 blocks long, because the first method is the basic method. So first of all, for any of these fights, I would recommend iron armor. You're going to need a bed as well as some shake. So you want to put the bed pretty far away from where you're spawning the wither and give yourself a little area to regroup in case you do die. But I know that's not going to happen. I mean, come on, dying while fighting the wither, that just never happens. But anyway... So for the first fight, you want a diamond sword, a bow with a lot of arrows. Mainly because, so for the first part of the fight, let's just get into it actually. So dig a little 3x3 three three out. One, two, I know it's the way to run away. So for the first part of it, you want to be far away from where he spawns because when he does initially spawn, he does a big boom and it can hurt you a lot. So once he's health bar finishes, yeah, see there's the explosion. Now, there you go, you have to take aim. So then, for the first part of the fight, you can just do this. His little bottom is clipping. So you can shoot him. And if you're not sure that you can actually see him, you can hit F3, F3B. You can hit hitbox, and as long as the arrow is anywhere inside of the hitbox, you'll be good. Let me turn down my game sounds, because this guy is insanely loud. Anyway, well, yeah, so the first fight of the, part of the fight is just like this. You slowly back up while you fight him. And once, but then once he gets down to half, once he gets down to half, you can only do melee damage to him. So you have to get, you know, in his face. You gotta beat him up. Yeah, that's right. You don't scare me. That's right. I'm gonna beat you up. That's, you suck. You're bad at the game. Look at how easy I'm killing you. Oh anyway, yeah. So you just take him out like this. And it's, it's a pretty easy fight, honestly. I mean, there's definitely some easier ways to do it, which I'll show you. And then, boom. Beacon. Or, not beacon. Nether star, look at you, you're so cool. Now, one of the cool things about doing it uh, at this level is kablamo, diamonds. So if you're doing it like if you this is a strip mine, it's like boom, diamonds. Look at all these diamonds. But yeah, so just by doing it this way, you can unearth a lot of diamonds. And just this is just a separate thing. If you just are too lazy to auto mine, or you're just too lazy to mine. You can just spawn a wither and slowly back up, and he'll dig out this space. And it's honestly, it's a really easy way to get resources if you're feeling lazy and you have the extra, you have the extra wither. So anyway, on to the next strategy. So like before, just put down your bed a little bit farther away. Now for this one, I'm still using the same tunnel as before, but you don't need as much space. So if you're doing this method, you don't need as much space, but you do need iron. So this one is Iron Golems, our best, our greatest allies, the Iron Golems. So you want to get around five Iron Golems, which is 20 Iron Blocks and five Carved Pumpkins. And if you didn't know how to spawn Iron Golem, it's this little T-shape with a Carved pumpkin, pumpkin on top. Yo, let's hire some help. Oh, no, don't stop, stop, no, don't try not to suffocate them in the wall, because that's bad. Real waste of your iron. But anyway, so spawn the wither, just like before. One, two, three. I don't know, he's so scary. Now, just chill in this room. Wait for him to do his, his powering up. I don't know what that is, healing up, because he's lame and he doesn't start at full health. Oh no, he does a thing. So you can just sort of chill, get a few, try and get a few cheeky hits in here. Maybe not. Just like this, and already you're just doing insane amounts of damage. But this is just if you really don't like having to melee him. Once you get him here, oh, oh god, get him, get him, boys, get him. You see, they're doing insane amounts of damage. Insane amounts of damage. This is only five golems. You might be able to do it with less, but this is just so easy. Look at that. That was like a third of the time, and boom, another nether star. So, for the third and final strategy, you do need the end. You need to have access to the end. You need to beat the Ender Dragon and all that stuff. But if you haven't beat the Ender Dragon, what are you doing watching this video? Stop watching the video. Go go beat the Ender Dragon, then come back, and then beat the Wither. Okay, so what you do is you got to find a stronghold. That easy. I mean, if you don't know how to find a stronghold, you just got to dig down. 
that's it. If you just dig straight down, you'll find a stronghold all the time, guaranteed. Anyway, so yeah, once you go to the end, you know, you beat the Ender Dragon, you do all that stuff, you do the actual important thing, and that is you go to the portal back to spawn thingy, and you dig under it. Now, the dimensions of this are very important, so pay attention. Ignore that. No, that doesn't exist. Stop. You need to do a five by five, and this is the important one. Two. It's got to be too high or you die. It's true because it rhymes. Now, you need to get all your... You get the stuff to spawn it. And just to show you how easy this is, I'm going to beat this wither by punching it. That's how dumb this fight is. But anyway, so the bottom block, this block right here, has to be in line with these, with the middle blocks of, of the five, so that it is directly under that pillar right there. Anyway, we get this, like that, and then, okay, he does his thing. Now, you gotta be careful, because he does this big explosion when he spawns, very dramatic. But anyway, yeah, once he does his, his thing, ow. Then, yeah, beat him up, like this. And I'm just gonna do this for the next, for the next hour. Oh, finally! Oh my god, that was, okay, that, that was painful. I do not recommend, do not do that at home. That is, no, that is a bad idea. I just gave myself all kinds of carpal tunnel. Don't do that. Just use a sword. That, no, that was a bad idea. But anyway, yeah. So, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, maybe consider giving a like. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy my content and you found it helpful and stuff, please consider subscribing. If you found it an interesting other way to beat the to beat the wither, please let me know in the comments below. And good bye.